Hello, OpenXML developers. This is Eric White. Today I am going to present a little bit on the OOXML tools extension for Chrome. This is a very cool tool that enables you to examine and edit markup in an OpenXML document. Further, there is diff functionality between two documents. You can drag two documents onto the OOXML tool extension for Chrome and see a delta between those two documents. The easiest way to find the OOXML tools for Chrome is do a search in a search engine and look for OOXML tools for Chrome. I hesitate to put the actual link here. Links change sometimes so I'm recommending you use your search engine to go find the appropriate link. And here we're looking at this OOXML tools page in the Chrome Web Store. This is where we can download and add this cool tool to our Chrome browser. After installing it, you enable it by clicking on this OOXML tools button up here in the browser. I'll drag a document onto the OOXML tools extension. And now I can navigate to the various directories in this OpenXML document. I can click on a part and I can see the markup for that particular part. This is a pretty reasonable XML text editor. You can collapse and expand elements in this editor to make it easier to navigate through your document. One aspect about this tool is in some ways, the OOXML tools extension for Chrome makes it easier to explore relationships when compared to the OpenXML package editor power tool. The way that you explore relationships is that you go to the folder or the directory in the OpenXML document that contains the source part. So in other words, I'm looking for the relationships in this case from the main document part, which is in this document.xml part right here, and I want to see what parts that's related to. So going back to the root folder, I see this word directory. If I go into the word directory, I see document.xml. I go up to the top and I see this .rels directory, and within that .rels directory, there's a document.xml.rels XML file. This will be in the .rels directory that is a sibling to the source part in a relationship. When I click on document.xml.rels, I can see a list of all of the relationships. If I want to find the relationship that has a relationship ID of RID10, then I can type control F here and look for RID10, and it'll find that specific relationship. I can see the relationship type right here, and I can see the target, which is header header2.xml. And if I then want to see that, I can notice that the target, this header2.xml, that's a relative reference. It doesn't contain any directories in that target. So I go back to the folder that contains my document.xml and I look for header2.xml and I can go look at the markup for that part. In some ways, it's far easier just to see a simple list of relationships here in XML when compared to how you have to navigate relationships in the open XML package editor power tool. So just for comparison, let's look at this same document in the open XML package editor power tool. I'll drag and drop test.docx onto Visual Studio. When I go to document.xml and I expand that node, then I see all of the relationships. If I want to find RID 10, then I click on one of these parts. I press F4 to bring up the property window and I see that that's RID 8. And I can navigate down one at a time through all of these relationships until such point as I see RID 10 and I see that goes to header2.xml. I can then double click on header2.xml and double click on header2.xml here and I can see the part. So in the case 
of OpenXML package editor power tool, you have to navigate through all the relationships using the arrow keys or something. And then you can see the RID one at a time. Whereas in the OOXML tools for Chrome, you can just see a list of the entire set of relationships and you can even do a search for a particular relationship ID. And that's more convenient in the situation where you have an awful lot of relationships from one part to another and you have the resource ID because you saw that resource ID in the markup in the from part and you want to go look at the markup in the related part. In some ways it's about six of one and half a dozen of the other. There's advantages to both. A common need is to try to discover what is the markup for some particular feature. So let's say that you want to understand the markup for vertical white space in a document and you're not quite sure what elements and attributes are applicable for that particular scenario. And so you don't even know where to go look in the OpenXML standard to read about those elements and attributes. So what you can do is you have have this document it's a source document I'm gonna copy and make a copy of it I'll edit this copy I'll drop down here to some point I'll select a paragraph I'll go to paragraph formatting and I'm going to modify this paragraph formatting saying that I, instead of zero points before I want 16 points before and I want 16 points after we see the difference in our document now I'll save this and close it. Now I can drag both test.docx and testcopy.docx onto the OOXML tools extension for Chrome. And it tells me my left file is test-copy and my right file is test.docx. Well, actually I want to swap those because my test.docx is the original file and test-copy is the modified file. Then click OK. And it tells me all of the parts that have changed. I'm pretty certain that the change is going to occur in the document.xml part. So I open that up. And if I drop down here, I can see the changes to the paragraph property of interest. I can see there is now a spacing element with a W colon before attribute and a W colon after attribute. And there I have it. I know I can go look at the W colon spacing element in the open XML standard and read about the before and after element and understand the semantics of those attributes. So that's all I'm going to cover in this screencast. One of the delightful things about this OOXML tools extension for Chrome is just how simple and clean a tool it is. It's very easy to use. It does a few things very well. Thanks for watching. Come back often to openxmldeveloper.org and see the new content that we're always producing for OpenXML. You can follow me on Twitter at Eric White Dev. You can follow OpenXML on Twitter at OpenXML Dev. Cheers.